So let's take a look first of all in the Gospel of John, the 14th chapter. Amen. Verse 10. Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he does the works. Now make note of this. That is the kingdom process. It will never change. We have to change to flow in line with that. Because God is not going to move outside what he's already said. Because what he said was right the first time. Amen. So now, that is the kingdom process it is the Father that dwelleth within me. He does the works. Now, notice this then. Verse 12, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go to my Father. Now, how would we ever be able to do that? Same process. Oh, but Brother Copeland, that was Jesus. Well, I know it, but... He did nothing as the Son of God except when he went to the cross. But he ministered as a prophet under the Abrahamic covenant as a man on the earth, anointed of the Holy Spirit. He said himself, we read it more than once uh, in John 5, 19, John 5, 30, I can do nothing of myself. Well, now do we believe that or not? I can do nothing of myself. But what? But what? My Father has shown me what I must say and what I must do. So he did not get outside that perimeter. If the Father didn't say anything, he didn't say anything. He spent all day over there in the temple before he ever went in there and chased out the money changers. The first day he went in there, he didn't do or say anything. And the Bible said he stayed until evening time. Went back to Bethany. The next day, he went into the temple. And that's when he cleaned out the money changers and, and all that. Why didn't he need to, I mean, he's acting the same way the day before. Why didn't he do something about it the day before? The father didn't say anything. And didn't tell him to do anything. So he didn't say anything. And he didn't do anything. That's the first step of faith. Right there. Inquire of the Father. What do I say? And what do I do? Amen. Amen. Yeah. Now. That process. Then. In the 21st verse, he that hath my commandments and keepeth them. What commandments? What to say and what to do. That's really not all that complicated, is it? It's the same process. He that hath my commandments and keeps them. He it is that loves me, and he that loves me shall be loved to my Father. I will love him and will manifest myself to him. I will give him the words. I will show him what to do. If he'll keep my commandments then, then he can expect me to manifest myself and do the work. Ta-da! We've arrived at something here. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now, we, we're, we're still going to have to develop it. But we have found out what the perimeters of this operation is. And it's in the kingdom of God and it's ours because we have been delivered from the authority of darkness and translated into the kingdom of his dear son. This is just as much ours on the earth as it was his on the earth. 
Amen. Amen. We're just as much filled with the Holy Spirit as he was then. We're just as authorized as he was then because we have his name, we have his word, we've been born of his spirit, we're one spirit with him, bone of his bone, praise God. I did it again. Preach me happy, glory to God. I was pretty stirred up when I got here. 